What's up, Indubians? I felt it necessary to put in a quick disclaimer that my audio levels are kind of not so great in this recording, and I apologize. So there are times where I just kind of disappear and fade out, and my fellow co-hosts kind of think that I'm upset or in some kind of disdain because I'm not speaking. But really, it was just my internet connection. So I deeply apologize and uh, please bear with me and us in this lovely episode because we still have a lot of fun and hopefully you guys have fun too. So thank you and enjoy. Hey, Uncle Billford, can you tell us a story? Yes, tell us a story, please. Please tell us a story, please. Okay, okay, gather round, gather round. Twas the night before Christmas. And all through the home, not a device was glowing, not even a phone. But hark and listen close, to three apt podcasters proclaim of how three icy hearts melted by way of a choo-choo train. presents the Ending Podcast with your host, T. Sterling Watson. Good morning, Indubians. I'm T. Sterling Watson. And I'm Courtney. And I'm Laura. This is the Indubian Podcast. Thank you for stopping by and pressing play. This is episode number 64, week something something, and we are... <laughs> Just about wrapping up the end of the year. It's the holiday season. Ooh. Merry Christmas. Um, happy Hanukkah. Joyous Kwanzaa. Mm-hmm. I know we'll talk about more later. Rakshabadan. Um, what else? Yes. Festivus. <laughs> Festivus. Yes. Uh, yep. Festivus. Yes. Winter solstice. Um, yep. Winter solstice. It's like Thursday or Thursday, yeah. Right, um, right. Hmm. Probably International Day of Something. Probably, yeah. Probably, <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. I'll take that. <laughs> I think it was International like or National Cookie Day a couple days ago, and mm-hmm. I, you know, it's what? always I something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It was Gingerbread Cookie Day. Oh, so. oh, you got to be specific it with it. That's not true. a fan. Not a fan. <gasps> what? Sorry. I love gingerbread. What? Oh my gosh. It's the only cookie I will not eat. <laughs> what? <laughs> There are so many. Is it because it has a face? What's that? Is is it because it has a face? No, I don't mind it having a face. (laughs) (laughs) It's the flavor. It's it's the same reason I, Uh, I kind of just don't like pumpkin spice anything uh, either. So it's mm. kind of the same thing for me. Like I just don't like gingerbread. Yeah, it is Mm. kind of a spicy type. I get it. You're uh, you're wrong, but I get it. (laughs) It's fine. Just it's, it's, kidding. You're entitled, I guess. Well, didn't it? <laughs> I've heard that like some people have certain taste buds where they can't even eat like cilantro. Like it tastes horrible to them. What? Maybe I could see that. I could yeah. see that happening. Mutants, probably. Mutants. Well, well, yeah, well, yeah. Maybe it's like an <laughs> X Men thing. Maybe it's like special powers. Oh, I wish I had that. Like I, I would, I would be okay having different taste buds if it meant I was a mutant. I, I would be. <laughs> I would volunteer for that role, maybe. <laughs> or, or maybe that's what gave you, not gave you powers, but the fact that you can taste things like, oh, this gingerbread is like two days old. He was murdered over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in Sherlock where he like sees things. Yeah. Like all the calculations uh-huh. when he tastes something. That's something you know, I need to start watching. I knew there was something. Come like- on. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there is so much mm-hmm. content. But Sherlock, and, what's wrong with you? I mean, because there are so many like iterations of Sherlock that I can't keep up with all of them, even though I really, really know of two. No, but. we gotta watch the watch the. Um, well, I don't know. I'm not a Sherlock fan, but the you have to watch the uh, Benedict uh, Cumberbatch and what's his name? 
Martin uh, Freeman. The Martin Hobbit Freeman. Guy. Yeah. yeah, the Hobbit guy. <laughs> Gotta watch <laughs> yeah. that version. Yes, it's very, very good. Well, I, I did start, I mean, I didn't start watching, I actually stopped watching it over the years, but I've been watching Elementary because I liked the appeal of an Asian American woman being mm. Watson. Mm -hmm. So, okay. which is Lucy Liu, which is for his Forever Bay. So, uh -huh. um, <laughs> uh -huh. and I, I really, I really liked it. And, but I just, it just kind of fell off for me. I mean, I fell off because there's just, again, so much content. I only have so mm -hmm. much TV quota that I can fill. So well, I'm having my withdrawals of Sherlock because it's over now and they so infrequently have new episodes that maybe I'll start oh, watching. Oh, that's true. That is true. Uh, the other one that you just mentioned. What is it called? Oh, Elementary. Uh, I can't Elementary. remember the name of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's on Netflix, but I'm pretty sure. I think Sherlock still is. Yeah, as far as definitely. I know. Yeah. So you have no excuse. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I already gave my my reason, which is a difference than an excuse. I, I gave my reason why I can't or I haven't, and it's just I'm messing with you so much. <laughs> it's just so easy to mess with him, right? Hey, so I glad told you. you're here to mess with him. It's always me. <laughs> It's always me. This 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 must be from like all the, the teasing I've been doing on Twitter lately. I don't know what's been going on with me. Just it's just been out of control. Um, but also I've been on vacation, a very short one. People keep saying, "Hey, how was your vacation?" And it's only been two days. I was out of work, but mm -hmm. um, I went and saw the Disaster Artist, which Ooh, was great. Cool. I have to see that. I will do a an official review for it um, in sooner or later, mm -hmm. and. Same uh, with Star Wars. I'll do an official review with that. Um, I'm talking about the original and first Star Wars. That's, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I saw the last <laughs> Jedi. Yep. Oh, okay. So that was good as well. Um, mm -hmm. Spoiler alert. Spock does not show up. Don't spoil anything for me. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I, well, that's what I've been tweeting all week. <laughs> like, well, then I must like, oh have to stay on Twitter for like two weeks because that's when I'm going to see it. Okay. Well, yeah, actually, people are starting to already tweet spoilers. Yeah. And people oh, yeah, I saw about... one today, and I was like, well, I guess, okay. Um, yeah. I hope that wasn't a big, like, an important spoiler. I know. People are yeah. so inconsiderate. Yeah. And, well, that's, that's the thing, where even, like, the littlest thing that people don't really assume would be a spoiler, people are like, why did you say that part? It's, it's really messing us. Like, you ruined everything! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I've gotten to the, to the point where I think I'm pretty good with live tweeting, where I can tweet very, very specific things, but be very vague about it. Like you have to mm. know exactly what I'm talking about in order to understand. So are you guys going to see Jumanji? Uh, uh, that's the third review I have to do. I've already seen okay. it. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, thumbs up or thumbs down because I have to see it this week. I'm going to see it this weekend. Thumbs up. Okay, good. I'm very excited now. I was really dreading yes. that it was going to be <laughs> horrible. I, so was I, so was I, but I was pleasantly and happily surprised a mini mini <laughs> review right now is that okay. like um everyone goes against type like what they're cast to be mm -hmm. well, i mean aside from kevin hart because he's usually always hilarious and he yeah. is here mm -hmm. but like uh the rock usually he's confident and strong where in this film he's like i'm i don't know how to be that and <laughs> it's there are lots of jokes that you see in the trailer mm -hmm. those jokes still hold up in the movie okay good, good. that's good like yeah. they build they build up to those jokes and then they add on to the jokes um, I heard somebody say that Jack Black was was play a teenage girl, and I <laughs> was it? Did he? He yeah. did. He plays a teenage girl. It's that's amazing. It is absolutely hilarious. It's like he he's the it. avatar for the girl. Oh, yeah. that's great! I saw I that in that. the trailer. I love Jack yeah. Black. I think he's awesome. I do too. I do too. I really like him too. Yeah, and oh, Karen cool. Karen oh. Gilliam, I believe. I keep saying her name wrong, but Karen Gilliam. That's, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, she's supposed to be like the uh, hot, sexy, like fighter. And mm -hmm. she doesn't realize that she is. So like, she doesn't know how to use her womanly ways. And it's, it's great. Um, it's, it's a great cast. It's, they all work really well together. And mm -hmm. I would I really enjoyed it. I mean, I, I wasn't oh, even, I was a little upset. That the movie wasn't a little bit longer because I was. Having oh, well, that's yeah, a good, so. that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I recently, well, two, I, two days ago just watched the old Jumanji movie. Mm. And I was really shocked at how terrible the graphics how terrible. are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> like those monkeys look terrible. <laughs> I don't even know how I felt for this as a kid. Like, but I was really into the movie again. Like even as I was watching it for the millionth time, yeah. I got really like into it and the whole, you know, 
the whole storyline and everything. And for anyone wondering, it does pay homage to uh, Robin Williams in a very. Yeah, I was, I was wondering way. about that. Well, that's yeah. good. I, I I was hoping it was. Mm-hmm. They, it needed to. So good. It, it, it definitely did. I hope it, they didn't it, do it in one of those cheesy holograms, though. Um, I'm not going to confirm don't, or deny. Okay, don't confirm anything. or deny. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but like it, it did pull a, a, one of the heartstrings that had you know that's still there. So, Aww, like, oh. yeah. and yeah. then it was back to laughing and, and joking. Okay. So, oh well, good. I'm glad and story, of course, it's, it's an adventure. So just go get your safari gear on mm-hmm. and just jump in, and enjoy yourself. Cool. So sweet. That is. Um, I also got to visit a restaurant during their grand opening. So that was fun. Oh. And that uh, also had a lot of uh, free samples. I think I was only supposed to get maybe one to two, but I ended up with four. Nice. So Of four. like full dishes I, or like hors d'oeuvres and stuff? Um, it was like portions of what would be a full dish. Nice. So That's pretty one good. One thing I've never tried. Yeah. One thing I never tried before was fried ribs. Fried ribs? And, yes, fried ribs. Normally, they, I guess with... With their normal business hours, you would get maybe six, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's a teriyaki sauce that's on it. Uh, there are pictures on my Twitter account, so you can go check those out. And um, they gave me two. Uh, I also tried a baked salad. The steak was so delicious. Oh, my God. I, I thought you said steak. a baked salad. I thought you said that, too. And I was like, <laughs> wait, well, you already said fried ribs, so maybe it's an actual thing. <laughs> no, no. Steak, steak salad. More, more meat. Um, gotcha. And that was absolutely delicious. Uh, someone, I guess, ordered a slice of cheese pizza, but nobody claimed it, so they gave it to me. Nice. So nice. Uh, You're just, <laughs> you were just winning all day, cleaning up. I, right. This was right after I watched the Disaster Artist too, so it was like a, a dinner and a movie. And it's your good right. luck movie. I, yeah, I guess so. Because I mean, even, that was great too, uh, by the way. And mm-hmm. my last uh, sampling was um, fried mozzarella. Mm. Ooh, I don't I know how many you really give, but mm-hmm. it was two, and that just filled me up. So I'm like, I'm good. So yeah, and I, I couldn't if I wanted to because the registers weren't fully up to date yet. So yeah, it was it was that's amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> I definitely will be back because they are literally down the street from my house. So perfect. Yeah. And you can tell them, hey, I was there on the first day. Give me more free stuff. <laughs> Or this does count as a review, and I'm giving them high marks. Um, <laughs> them five tomatoes. Five, uh, five tomatoes. I just made that. Five. I ribs. like it. I like it. I five ribs. Five t- <laughs> <laughs> that works. Uh oh. Did we lose him? I think we. I made thought him. it was a dramatic pause. I know. I didn't want to say anything, but um, Sterling, if you can hear us, we cannot hear you. I see that you're. His little microphone thing is yeah. coming off. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, we're just going to take over then if you're just going to bust right. out of here. Well, T. Sterling Watson has gone MIA on his podcast, so we're here taking over. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, this is how it should be anyway if you ask me. So, it's messed up. I mean, <laughs> I mean, girls, women should rule the world is all yes. I'm saying. Yes. So, you know... He's I gonna he's back. <laughs> I guess he heard that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm fully back. Okay, yes, yeah. you're back. <laughs> Welcome back to we were, the we were about podcast. To take over, man. We did take over. I, I know you. <laughs> did you? And then ready to just snatch, yep. whoop. And, yeah. I mean, you the one who left the mic open. So mm-hmm. uh, what were we supposed to do? Just let it sit idly by? No. Ocean's eight is out here. This is already Ocean's nine, I guess. <laughs> Wait, there's a new Ocean's movie? Yeah, all women. I'm way lost. It's amazing. Yes. Whoa. You didn't know? Oh, oh yeah. You I did not know. Too. Yeah, it's got Rihanna in it, and then who? Julia Roberts and who else? Sterling. No. Nope. She's not in it, sadly. She's, she was in the first. She's, she's not in it, but... Um, oh, come on. Uh, Sandra Bullock. Oh, Sandra Bullock Sandra is yeah. her okay. lookalike, though. Right, that's like her her twin sister, basically, so <laughs> that'll work. Too. Her funny twin sister. <laughs> right. Julia Roberts is funny. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Tell me how you really fit in. <laughs> You want me to be honest. I'm I do. And I don't want you to lie to me. So thank you for your honesty. Yep. Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, I'm sitting here trying to think of a time where she was funny. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, you people stink. Well, okay, Tell okay. Us I don't the time mean she that. was funny. I don't know. <laughs> See? <laughs> she just is. 
<laughs> but if you think about Sandra Bullock being funny, there are a million times. Yeah, there, that's true. That's true. Same. Okay, fine. Really? Fine. I give fine. it to you. Hey. Wait, is wait, there wait, an award? Wait. Is there an Induba award? <laughs> For funniest actress? Or um, <laughs> having a point? <laughs> 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 oh, oh! We probably should make one. Yeah, we should. We should. <laughs> you should have an award really show. <laughs> you made a point, oh, and that would be yeah. our that would be our little jingle for it. <laughs> I'm writing it right now and do award show for making a point. That's that's the first award you should add on there. Just <laughs> so if someone on the show has to make a point, and then they get the award. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. Obviously, yes. Just I just had to make sure of the rules because we're not mm-hmm, giving. Gotcha. Or we can do one where we say who should, what movie should really win awards each year rather than waiting on the Oscars and Golden Globes to tell us what to think. That is, that is also true. <laughs> yes. yes. Man, that, that's a much bigger, that, that takes a lot more time to put together because like, oh, Probably. wow, this is great. This one was, oh, that was great too. So, <laughs> um, I also got to sleep and make applesauce and apple chips, by the way, for my Ooh. little vacation. Nice. Apple chips take a long time, right? They do, and these particular apple chips are made for my uh, friend in Boston. Um, what's up, Jenny? Occasionally she tunes in in case she's listening to this particular episode. Hey, um, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. So <laughs> she likes apple chips that I make. Uh, normally, with with apples, you I like to use the entire apple. So if I'm making sauce mm-hmm. or pie, that's use all the juicy fruit that's inside, but then the skin and the peels uh, or the core, what do you do with those? Mm-hmm. Uh, Compost like them. You can compost them, which is would like to do. I don't really have a means to do it yet. But um, first, before it even goes to compost, you can make cider from it, mm. which is something I'll be doing this weekend. Mm-hmm. And uh, before that, if someone like Jenny wants the apple chips, you take the skin or the peelings, and then you dry them out, and it takes about three hours on a very low mm-hmm. heating in the oven. And uh, you get see crispy little chips from, oh. the, from the skin. She really loves them. Sometimes you can add sugar or cinnamon, and that gives it more flavor. But it also makes it stick to the pan, which mm-hmm. I, but, you know. So, so there you go. Um, I think next year I might attempt to do some videos explaining how to make these things that I kind of do all the time. So, mm-hmm. yeah, we'll be watching. So those are. That was my weekend. Anyway, so it was uneventful, but it was eventful and fun. That's not very bit. uneventful. That sounds pretty full and. Mm-hmm adventurous to me i mean you got a movie which is basically free for you mm-hmm. you got free meal a free meal that was good mm-hmm. you you kind of you kind of won the weekend yeah you win that was like wednesday you, you win the the free food and the movie that was wednesday night thursday i slept all day <laughs> perfect that's winning that is winning <laughs> what Although you know who else is winning? I went to three birthday parties this weekend and wow. just happy birthday to my mom, to Barbara, and to Judy. So happy birthday. Happy belated happy birthday. Happy birthday, birthday to folks. all the Sagittarius and Capricorn out there. Hey, Sagittarius oh. is the best. So, you know, you know how that goes. <laughs> Next to Aquarius, yes. I agree. Uh, no, 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 no. We come first, sir. But okay. <laughs> Like, mm-hmm. do what you got to do. It's your show. But as a Gemini, know. we're not going to get involved in this company. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, a Gemini. So, outcast. Uh-huh. Outcast thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, now we're going to take a quick break. When we return, we're going to get into a little bit more of a jolly, holly jolly spirit um, and discuss some, some Christmassy things yeah, right after this. Hindu Podcast. Hey, I'm Nick. And I'm Victor. And this is Megashane. Megashane is a queer, people of color, weekly podcast, and we talk about anything from drag, to comics, to video games, to... Boys. And anything else in between. (laughs) So, if you want to listen to us, we're on iTunes, Stitcher, and SoundCloud, and you can follow us on Megashine Pod and Megashine on Twitter. That's right. So, follow us, talk to us, we'll be here. And we out. Hey, this is Steph Firewell. Join me by Weekly at the Lemonade for all things nerdy and geeky, giving you all the sweet and sour notes from the nerd world, as well as my own special commentary to make this blend lemonade just right. 
follow the lemonade at audio boom soundcloud high being at the points of interest network and i'll see you guys soon break it down <laughs> and oh, Lord. back to the new podcast <laughs> Someone was very anxious to get back. Um, <laughs> she was. I love it, though. I, I, I do. I, do I love the enthusiasm. I do. Because it's been a long time. It's actually been a little bit longer uh, break because of uh, holidays and life and everything. Uh, but I do have some Sheboygan news. Good morning, Sheboygan. Uh, really, really quickly, I just want to talk about uh, in... And this, the city of Sheboygan, they are kind of redeveloping, I guess, an area uh, in Sheboygan Falls. So Al's and, Al and Al's, which is, I guess, a bar and restaurant, they are they're going, they're, uh, putting their restaurant for sale. They're not going out of business. They're not closing. So they're just, they just want to do something else with their life. Uh, it's been a second-generation uh, establishment and they just kind of want to move on and do other things and which is understandable. They were, didn't want to give it to the third generation. They didn't seem as interested, but it's, it's for sale. They want to keep up the traditions like Oktoberfest and other uh, German kind of, it's a German restaurant too. So it's German food and other traditional Friday fish fries and stuff. So mm-hmm. just wanted mm-hmm. to let people know that, you know, if you're interested in buying a restaurant in Sheboygan and taking that over, Alan Al's is for sale. They are located on 1502 South South 12th Street in Sheboygan. And there's also two apartments on the upper floor. I'm not sure if those are for sale as well, but you'll have to contact the owner and get more information on that. Meanwhile, in Sheboygan, they also voted their top Christmas movie to be a Charlie Brown Christmas. What? Okay. I don't know about that. I, Let's talk I about disagree. it. Um, <laughs> vehemently, I disagree with Wait, that. Do they have they had television and available to watch <laughs> videos in the past twenty years? Or like you, uh, like, like ten, even. I mean, 10. come on. Because if they well, didn't 20, see, I'll give it twenty. I'll get it twenty. Let's pause for just a moment. Are we? Are, is there a hate towards Charlie Brown? Is that what's going on? There's no hating. <sighs> <laughs> but it ain't the best, though. So maybe it is a little bit of hate. The Foo Fighters played a very good Charlie Brown song on SNL this past weekend. And that's the only thing I like about Charlie Brown. <laughs> mm. I heard about that, but I was at work, so I missed it. It was and really I good. I did forget to record it, but I know it's on. I probably can look it's it up. It's on YouTube, probably. Elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. They played, like, a I Christmas. Watch the whole thing. Uh, like just a bunch of Christmas songs together, maybe two or three of them. It was really good. Mm. The Cologne is what mm-hmm. you particularly like. Charlie Brown Christmas. It's me trying to give a compliment to a movie that I don't really <laughs> think is that great. I'm sorry. It's a little overrated in my opinion. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like fun fact, I don't even think I've seen it. <laughs> that's, how, that's how much I like it. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't want to put you, I didn't want to throw you under the bus, Courtney, because I remember we discussing this last year that you haven't seen it. <laughs> and I still haven't seen it. <laughs> Throwing her under uh, the train at this point. At this point, yeah. But I would, <laughs> she jumped out first. So I was just yeah. yeah. Like, well, you're already out there, I'll just tell you. But um <laughs> it's I, I honestly don't consider it a movie because it's more of like a TV special. Yeah. And it yeah, what I, about like I the mean Rudolph- it's a TV special? TV special. That's a movie. I mean, kinda. Kind of, but the, snow, the <laughs> snowman one and the Rudolph. <laughs> Frosty. Yeah, Frosty, mm-hmm. that one. Mm-hmm. Those are better than Charlie Brown. For sure. I don't think you like Charlie Brown very much, do you, Laura? I don't. I don't. You're not I don't a big, get it. I don't get it. Fan, huh? I missed out on like the point <laughs> of Charlie Brown. <laughs> Oh, so this is all of Charlie Brown, just not, just not the Christmas special. This is all of it. Yeah, no, it's all of it. <laughs> mm. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Well, however well, I, I watch I, it, I'll watch it, and then I will gladly be um, 
I will gladly be the the tiebreaker in this. Yes. Um, so I'll set up a time. I'll make an appointment and make this happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'll get back with you. I'll report back like to you. You know, I'll let you know. How long is it? Is it like super long? Is it like 30 minutes or? Like a half, you know, like half an okay. hour. Okay. I can I will that. say there okay. are. There are two specials, and I actually grew up watching the the latter one, which is only like maybe off by like two years. They came out in the sixties, mm-hmm. um, but I grew up watching the latter one, and then I got accustomed to the first one. Uh, but they're still all classics to my heart, and I just love their interactions with each other. and And this is what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. And uh, <laughs> you know, thank you. Why is, why is that dude? He breaks it down for you and explains what Christmas is really all about. Okay. While Charlie Brown <laughs> is getting all existential trying to figure out like, what am I going <laughs> to do? Of find the right tree. <laughs> yes. Like and just like, chill. Just chill, made Charlie. Just like, bro, yeah. take a chill pill. Pretty much, pretty much. But, um, I'm, I'm sitting here defending it and it's not even like my top Christmas movie. Cause mm-hmm. I don't consider it a movie. So. Mm. Why wouldn't but, you consider it a movie? Right. Because it's so short or what? I think so. I think because I've always considered it like a like a short, it's like a, a cartoon. It's a special. Mm-hmm. I mean, like yeah. South Park has their Christmas episodes, <laughs> but they don't feel like a show. They feel like a special or something. Uh, like when they gotcha. have Mr. Hanky, that's always a special event. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorites. Right. <laughs> Same thing with the animated Grinch, uh, or how the Grinch stole Christmas. Mm-hmm. The cartoon version is always. It's never considered a movie, but it is an event, like a special mm-hmm. event. Like, oh, the Grinch is on. This is my next 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. That's very doing. good. Very, very good. Yeah. It is. That, that's my favorite. Well, I don't the, know that that's my favorite, but it's one of my favorites, the Grinch. Out of the, the TV specials. Yes. yes. It's one of the better ones. That and yes. Rudolph, in my opinion. I'm partial to pretty much any, well... Um, I'm partial to most of the claymation ones. Now, are you talking about mm-hmm. Rudolph the claymation or yeah. Rudolph the cartoon? Okay. No, the claymation ones. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I am pretty much love all of the claymation ones. Um, didn't we talk about this, Starling, that we couldn't figure out if it was Rankin? Oh, right. No, it's uh, Rankin, Rankin, Rankin Bass. Rankin Bass. Yeah. Okay, yes. So, the Rankin Bass claymation, I pretty much love them all equally. Um, and they are probably better than Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> probably. My yeah. school pride a little bit, but it's okay. I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm really Not sorry. sorry. Not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rudolph, definitely, because it, it, it does hold some, and I, yeah, we did talk about it on, a, I think, on the Patreon post. Um, it, it has a, a lot of just memorable moments. And this one, yeah, I could say that it could count as a movie because it's so much longer, it feels like. Mm-hmm. Unlike uh, the Frosty cartoon and I um, think uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Mm-hmm. It might be an hour. I don't remember. And I don't remember it on TV. I remember a tape that my, my mother had because she recorded them all on VHS and even – like I would watch it year round. It would even have to be Christmas time. Like, you know what? I feel like watching some good old fashioned Christmas <laughs> stuff. Exactly. And mm-hmm. I would, as a kid, so I, I learned all the songs. I could probably recite. I, mean, I can't probably do it now, but if I were watching it, I could, I know what the next lines are automatically. Oh, so. that's so sweet. Can well, you get about- us with something now? Yeah. Um, put one foot in front of the other. Uh, <laughs> yes. From- um, uh, oh goodness! Yes, because they were learning about Christmas and they mm-hmm. had to like get their Christmas cheer back or something, right? Well, they had to teach the Winter Warlock how to walk because he always mm. disappeared and reappeared wherever he. Went. Oh, and look at you learning me something! Mm-hmm. After he got the warm heart, he stopped looking all gross and ugly. Right, and he wasn't his cheeks gross were all and ugly. Rose. Well, he looked. He scared. was just—he was different. Stop being so weird. Was, was scary, mm-hmm. terrified my childhood soul. Mm-hmm. But then you're right; they did show him like Christmas and all about giving. And I think they gave him maybe like a toy train or something, and mm-hmm. it just melted the cold, icy heart inside. Aww. And and he did was it like, speak you know, to you? 
Um, at the time, <laughs> was that a jab? It was. It, it was actually. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't get it. I got it. <laughs> I'm trying to defend my 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 childhood because I had a good childhood, and then I got jaded over the years. So, oh. um, maybe you need to but, watch uh, it again. <laughs> Or people just start sending me little toy trains. Um, and oh, that would be cool. <laughs> that would be actually pretty cool. Yeah, I, I did have a, a toy train uh, growing up and probably played with it while I watched this this Christmas special. So, uh, yeah, there's there's that. And, oh, yeah, we did talk about it because I asked you if you knew what uh, uh, Mrs. Claus's name, first name was. And it's Jessica, according mm-hmm. to... It is? Yeah. According to Santa Claus is Coming to Town... Her name is Jessica. She's, she's, not, cool she's supposed to have a name like Martha or something. Wait, wait, that's <laughs> Superman, right? Yeah, that's Superman's mother <laughs> as well as Batman. Um, isn't that Batman's so mother? like an old lady's name, like Ruth or something? <laughs> Linda, her name Linda. is Linda. <laughs> Y'all are terrible people. <laughs> um... But those are those are the TV specials. We want to mm-hmm. discuss the movie. Made a list of. Uh, I tried to think like a little bit outside the box, like beyond our, the traditional stories, the ones that I really like. If I saw, if it was on, I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, I gotta watch this. Um, in no particular order, mm-hmm. but uh, Friday after next, which is the third Friday in the Friday fran- franchise. Mm-hmm. Uh, Love. Say that one again. The Grinch. Love Actually. Mm-hmm. Okay. Love. Okay. Um, the Grinch. Mm-hmm. Or how the Grinch okay. The Jim Carrey Grinch. Carrey. Of course. Well, okay. I like the cartoon as well, yes. though. I do like the right. cartoon. I'm just making sure we're talking about Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh, almost two, specifically because that's the one that I owned. I never owned the first one. So, no... Nothing against Home Alone 1, but Home Alone 2 was a little more closer to my heart. And plus, I really love... What? I, I, I agree love... on that one. What? I, I'm from New York, so the home, Lost oh, in New York God. thing was just, you know... And it was so much more violent, which speaks to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Courtney. Courtney, I, I think we have to give Laura a, a toy train. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> Uh, the last two here are uh, The Thin Man, which is one of my favorite classic movies, and I keep forgetting it takes place at Christmas. And uh, the last one is a Christmas and Halloween movie, Nightmare Before oh, Christmas. Hey, there you go. Double, yeah, if nice. Die Hard counts as a Christmas yeah. movie, then Fine. so does Nightmare Before Christmas. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you have something to say or not? No, 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 I love Nightmare Before Christmas, but if I was making my list of my list and checking it twice, it would not make it because I would think it's a Halloween movie. Gotcha. But that well, now, now throws my whole list out of uh, out of whack. <laughs> well, how about, it's both. Can it not be that special? It can be movie? both. Yeah. It can be both. Okay. I, I saw it's it. both. Because there was one year where... Um, uh, we all live tweeted for a Christmas party, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. So, mm-hmm. Ooh. so kind of solidified it for me anyway as it being also a Christmas movie. Mm. Or it's a Thanksgiving movie because it's right in the middle. Mm. Maybe. Maybe no, not really. Maybe. Uh, I feel like if it's a, I'm, I feel like if it's a Thanksgiving movie, it's not a real Thanksgiving movie. It's either Halloween or Christmas. Like, we can right, kind of skip over, like, we don't have to really, like, acknowledge Thanksgiving that much, do we? Not really. It's okay. a transitional period. Yeah. <laughs> it's another a transitional excuse to holiday. eat. It's an excuse to eat. That's right. All. And get together. I'm cool with yeah. that, too. But, like, to celebrate it? Nah. Okay, we don't have to. <laughs> like, while we're eating Thanksgiving dinner, have that movie playing in the background. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. It, yeah. It's beautiful. I like it. I like it. So, what are you? What are your movies? Because I know we don't really haven't picked a top one or anything. Not that I don't think we're trying to. I don't know if we're going to agree on a top one. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so either. <laughs> I'm a little salty about about uh, uh, Charlie Brown. Sorry. Oh, 
Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, if we're not counting the TV specials, then my list is different because Rudolph means a lot to me. But and now that you're counting Nightmare Before Christmas as a Christmas movie, that's my number one. <laughs> and then, what are the TV specials? What's that? What are the TV specials that you're... The you're Rudolph your- special. Okay. That was really well done, to, in my opinion. And then <laughs> I love I Home Alone 2. What's that? You know who I can't stand? That that Yukon Cornelius. Oh, he's the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm, I'm just, I'm just. Gosh kidding. darn it! I, I don't, I don't have a problem with you. <laughs> the other ones I love: Home Alone Two, Lost in New York, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Elf with Will Ferrell, of The course. Grinch with Jim Carrey, and mm-hmm. I really like those um, Santa Claus franchise of uh tim allen oh yeah i like those too those were really sweet you're talking about all was it three of them i think they made yeah i think there were three of them i i know they've done like a bunch more some like they did something else after but i didn't watch any of that Mm -mm. Mm -mm. keep that (laughs) oh wait we're forgetting about that movie with um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. What's that movie? Jingle All the Jingle Way. All the Jingle way. All the Way. That's I used to love that movie. <laughs> oh my God. It was Sinbad. Sinbad, toy. yeah. <laughs> That's one and of my favorite. Power Patton toy. Yes. yes. That's yes. a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> Turbo Man, Power Turp. I don't know what it is. Yeah, Turbo absolutely. Man. Yeah. Turbo Man. Like that. That's a great movie. Hmm. Yes, I, I do remember that. And Ensign Bad, yes, I do like him as a crazy postal worker. <laughs> well. So, look, we all agree on Jingle All the Way. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a, yes. a list that, Courtney? I do. I love Home Alone. Um, that's my favorite. That's probably one of my favorite Christmas movies. But it's going to be the original Home Alone. I loved okay. um, the New York one. I didn't like, I only like one and two. When it went to number three and they like changed the kid, I, yeah, I was no, out. Yeah, we, we don't we don't acknowledge was, those. Yeah, I was out of there. But that number doesn't count. Two, right? Yeah. It, yeah, you're right. It just shouldn't even belong with the with the franchise. But I I um, liked the the New York one, but I preferred the first one. I guess that's just mm-hmm. the one that um, that's the one that I the first one, obviously the one I grew up with, the one I watched back to back. I just I love it. I just love everything about it. Um, I love the holiday. Mm-hmm. Who's in that I one? That. So it's got Kate Winslet. It's got not Drew Jack Barrymore. Black. Uh, Jack Black. Uh, Jude Law. Oh, like they see their in-laws' house or something. Like they split. No, well they no. flip. They switch. They do switch houses. Kate Winslet and uh, Cameron Diaz. Oh, uh, their okay. characters mm-hmm. switch houses. Um, and so it's just so good to me. Yeah, though. that was, was a good such movie. A good, it was so good. Um, and I love The Family Stone, mm-hmm. which is another is ensemble the, movie. Christmas? Huh? I've only seen it once. I don't know. That, that is Christmas. Oh, yeah, it's very Christmas. Yeah, they meet up for Christmas. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's very Christmas. Um, I love the Rankin Bass claymations. I don't really have a, I don't think I have a favorite. I just kind of love them all. I don't like the Baby New Year one. Isn't that a claymation? Oh, I haven't seen that. It, there's one about baby. Well, baby New Year is in it. I don't know if it's a, just solely about baby New Year, but I, I, I always skip that one. So, you know, no. Um, those are the ones that really come to mind. I love the Santa Claus, uh, Tim Allen franchise as well. I only, I only know one of uh, one and two though. I don't mm-hmm. know the third one, but the first one is is near and dear to my heart. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, my list is very similar to y'all's. It's just uh, a little better. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, again, I just want to say that I have no ill feelings toward the first Home Alone. Like, I remember watching it, I think it would be last year, the year before, and just mm-hmm. laughed like it was the first time I've ever, I've ever seen it. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it still holds up to being hilarious. You know, um, mm-hmm. Kevin McAllister is murdering people, but it's <laughs> it's uh, it it still holds up. Um, yeah. Any of the uh, Santa Claus movies in a long time? Yeah. Um, 
haven't seen I it did, in quite a while. Yeah. I think the third one had uh, Jack Frost in it. Yeah. By Martin Short. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like that one the least, but I still like it. Me too. It. Didn't they have the the other holidays in that one too? Like, uh, maybe not. No, they did. They had other. They had other holidays. I think so. Right? Because wasn't remember. Vanessa? Um, oh, uh, not Vanessa Williams. What's her name? Vivica A. Fox. Wasn't she in that one? She may have been. I'm I'm trying really hard not to reach out to IMDb because I really want to. <laughs> um, Go for it. But yeah, I think I think that was like a, like a all the holidays kind of got together mm-hmm. in a sense. Which going back to Nightmare Before Christmas, I really want to know it's in those other trees because they have all the holidays. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know it kind of that would be random, interesting but... for like follow up movies. It would be. But um, I don't know if we're ever going to get that. Yeah, it's, it's a little late now. Well, Christmas kind of trumps actually has, a lot of the holidays. It, it always kind does. of takes center it, stage. Again. Mm-hmm. And the commercial commercialism of it, which is a uh, key Charlie Brown Christmases, uh, talking about that. Just saying. Yeah, moving on from that. Um, but don't most movies, most holiday movies, will say they all talk about that? How like it's so commercial, and then the true meaning is your family, <laughs> uh-huh, and it all uh-huh, has the same kind of uh-huh. message to it. So Charlie Brown can't take all the credit. I- <laughs> like, are you mad or or no? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Starling. Courtney, one of your your. your- your idols, Aisha Tyler. I love her. I knew it, but isn't Vivica A. Fox in that movie, or am I thinking of Aisha Tyler? I think you're thinking of Aisha because I don't see her up here. <laughs> okay, okay, that okay, okay, yes. I love her so much. Yeah, because there's Father Time, there's Sandman, there's the Easter Bunny. Mm-hmm. Yes. Could... Yeah, I remember that. Okay, cool. Tooth yeah, I remember them. Now, what started getting me confused, and I'm not sure if this counts as a Christmas movie. I think it probably can be, but um, oh my goodness, I'm trying to think of the whole title now. I think it's Guardians. Um, it's a CGI movie, mm-hmm. Rise of the Guardians. Okay, and and you you're saying that's a Christmas movie? I think it is. I'm not putting it on my list. I but I'm like, hey, it's not bad, but it's not great either. <laughs> not in my opinion. <laughs> Um, I don't know that one. Isn't Gremlins a, a Christmas movie? Yes. Gremlins? I'm going to say that it is because it. I didn't. I didn't know it until actually just again, just like this year, that it takes place on Christmas on Christmas. Yeah, and the first Chucky movie because he was a gift for Christmas, right? Oh. No? So is that what is that what we're classifying Christmas movies? If it's if it has, <laughs> because technically, no, I'm cool with that. But if if you want to go there, Harry Potter is a, is definitely a Christmas movie. Well, isn't it isn't the rule that if it takes place during Christmas that it's a Christmas movie? Because that's how Die Hard made the list. <laughs> I guess I think so. That, that would need to be established. I've always that's been really like, Christmas. if if there was Christmas any time during the story of the movie like the plot you know the movie okay so then the first jumanji was a christmas movie because they had a party on christmas at the end (laughs) yes yes and i was wondering because i actually as we were talking about the the reboot jumanji i actually watched um the cinema sins for jumanji the original Mm -hmm. and so that you know as it was going through it i was remembering all the terrible things about that movie and all the great things about that movie and um and uh, I and then I saw that scene at the very end because they covered it. I was like, "Oh my god! I never knew that Jumanji was a Christmas movie." <laughs> so that was my exact thought. So I'm thinking, you know, yes, Jumanji is a Christmas movie because it does have Christmas some somewhere in there. I'm, I'm okay know. with that. This logic is slippery. <laughs> It, 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 it needs it needs some clear rules. Like somebody has yeah. to say "Merry Christmas" within the movie itself. Yeah. Uh, and, okay, now the Christmas movie. I think like Harry Tom Potter. Hanks or Barack Obama need to make an announcement about the rules, and then we'll why know. Tom Hanks? <laughs> Just random. Why, why Barack? What did they do? I, you know what? I support it. I, mean, I, I support that, it. Like, we respect it, 
Oh yeah, okay, okay. So I mean, what do you I'm, look up to? I'm cool with it. I just wanted to know like the logic so that I could defend it to the haters, you know. <laughs> because if Tom Hanks tells you something, you're not really gonna go back yeah. and like, okay, Tom, he's a good guy. He he's he is um, a good guy. He's a good guy. He, he survived so much. He was on an island for I don't know how long. I mean, he was, man. He made it too, didn't he? He made it. Um, I mean, there was a little misstep because of that uh, the whole Polar Express movie. He landed that plane in the water. <laughs> That's a big misstep. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, 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 he saved people in that one. Uh, did he, though? I didn't even see that movie. I mean, neither. It doesn't matter. But I'm glad either. that. Um, so we now that you've mentioned that one movie that's terrible, we can never mention it again, and it's called Polar Express. Um, <laughs> is that a Christmas movie? For God, it is, is it a Christmas it, it, movie? It's it more is. like a horror story. Aww. Halloween. Oh, it's so bad. It's not even that it really, bad. It's just so boring. <laughs> that's that's really what it is. It's, it's boring. boring. It's, it's really boring. boring. It really is. It's, it's the prime example of the uncanny valley and why you need to be careful with it. Um, the uncanny valley? Explain yes. that one to me. The uncanny valley is with all these uh, graphics, uh, CGI and everything mm. to look more and more lifelike. Mm. We as, you know, as something's not right and they look really wrong. And um, we are cool with things that, you know, almost look human. Like, I don't know, androids. Mm. Oh, or, yeah. Mm-hmm. Robots or, or aliens. For example, Pixar does a great job. <laughs> yeah, Pixar does a great make humans, you know, trying to look as lifelike as possible. They're just mm-hmm. cartoon characters, and we're good with that. But then the more you go into Polar Express or even a movie like, um, and I'm diving. This is like a deep dive, but um, uh, Final Fantasy which is a forgotten CGI film, which I have no idea if that even has anything to do with the video game franchise, but all of those people were all CGI and just weird. And I don't, I don't know what that was all about. But I don't think it was creepy. I think it was just boring too, which is why nobody talks about. <laughs> well, do you know a bad, but good Christmas movie? So like so bad that it's good. <laughs> it's called Santa Slay, and it has Goldberg, the wrestler, Really, it's like a Santa Claus that like beats everyone up. It's really funny and horrible, and like, awesome. Like awful, but awesome. Santa like Slay, room. like Slay, yeah. like S L A Y. Uh, I believe so. Of course, <laughs> of course. Why not? Right. It's horrible. Yeah. It's so funny. I thought you were going for like a slasher film. Um, because I know. No, Ooh, I think that would be like, fun. Isn't there like the Leprechaun stuff? But no, no, it's nothing like that. Well, there's like um, I, I want to say there's a movie called Black Christmas, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. Nothing that came Black out, Christmas, but just dark, <laughs> killing. Yeah. Oh, really? Like a murder Christmas movie? We should totally have a Black Christmas movie, though. But anyway, there should be like actual black few. people in it. Oh, yeah. There's one. but no, like we should there's call one. it Black Christmas. Oh, I was gonna say, does <laughs> be about Perry black that every year? Huh? <laughs> I was gonna say, doesn't Tyler Perry do that every year? Uh, yeah, I'm mean, you're right about that. Um. Yeah. But this Christmas, uh, find it really. Mm-hmm. I mean, Idris Elba's in it. Um, the I don't care for him personally. I don't think anybody else should either. But that's just my opinion. Uh, Chris Brown is in it. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a whole bunch of black folks that are in it. And it's not bad, and it's a you know good family film. And Friday After Next. That's a, a black Christmas movie. I have to see that. I saw the first two. It is a Christmas moment. movie, isn't it? I remember mm-hmm. you mentioning that Starling about it being a Christmas movie, and I was like, "No, what?" But you're right; it does it does take place during Christmas. I forgot about that. Yeah, and it starts off with the best, one of my favorite versions of Silent Night by The Temptations. Oh um, yeah, and very opening credits, and it's got I think no, I almost said Cat Williams, not Cat Williams. He's in it, but um, another comedian, uh, Ricky Smiley, who is dressed as a Santa stealing presents in the very first scene. So mm. okay. <laughs> Christmas all the way through. Got you. Okay. Um, and I do want to say with the Jumanji sequel, that also it ends on Christmas. Okay, I'll so it's a, it's another Christmas so, movie. <laughs> <laughs> so is that the logic really, that we're going with? Is, is I don't know. Christmas is like thought about in the movie. We're good. I think you need to make a poll or something. Like people need I to vote. 
Yeah, I feel like the majority of the film has to take place during yeah, Christmas. Like more than half of it has to be Christmas. Mm. Yeah, because you can't have a random scene where it's Christmas because then Deadpool would be a Christmas movie because they have that one scene. That's where right. Like, yeah, when That's they were doing the year of the calendar Christmas thing. Movie. <laughs> what is? They should make a Deadpool Christmas movie. That would be cool. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> or like just a Marvel any, Christmas. Just anything Deadpool, I'm pretty yeah. much okay with. Mm-hmm. For real. Pretty much. Yeah. Same. Um, speaking of Christmas films and uh, what constitutes as them, you actually uh, directed and created a little Christmas short. I sure did. Uh, nice. <laughs> give, a, give a little, I believe it's called. Yes. It is called Give a Little. Give a Little. Tell mm-hmm. us about it. Well, uh, I created it five years ago. Uh, mm-hmm. Shot it in New York City, in the Bronx, in Manhattan. And it's inspired by movies like Home Alone 2 mm-hmm. or Elf. And it just has that nice family warming message to it at the end. So nice. um, I kind of created it as a way to just pay honor to all those movies that I love so much, all those holiday movies and um, all the people that helped out on it. It kind of was like one of those heartwarming stories because there were like four or five people on the crew. Like we really didn't have a lot of people, no money. We did it very quickly, shot it on the train when we weren't supposed to, like everything just worked (laughs) out and it just kind of like happened. So um, yeah, that's Christmas movie. And it recently reached 10,000 views on YouTube, which I'm like so proud of. I have no idea. So is that where we can find it? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Um, Also, if you're in New York, it's playing on some local stations in Manhattan and Brooklyn, uh, Westchester as well. So awesome. Yeah, but you can definitely watch it on YouTube. I want to make sure that this movie is something that everyone can watch and just enjoy and share with their friends. So when I when I did watch it, I I didn't know that it was produced like five years ago. I thought you had just created it. Oh, cool! Um, recently, um, so I can already tell that it does have a, a bit of timelessness to it, mm-hmm. and is which is also definitely great because that way you can enjoy it twenty years oh, from now. Thank you. I don't know about that cell phone. How that's going to hold up? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. There is. I did uh, saw that, and um, I couldn't help. I. I attention to detail and I saw that the person called was a block number yes. and I'm like, why are you answering it? It's blocked. Don't answer it. <laughs> Don't answer the block number. I know. <laughs> but, but then it was the boss and it just helped to carry the plot, or, plot along. <laughs> and, um, and I can't believe none of us mentioned it. Sorry to jump back to movies, but Scrooge. Scrooge is a great Christmas Oh yeah, movie. with uh, yeah. Bill Murray. Yeah, that is a great movie. That was pretty good. Yeah. Bill Murray could, Sorry. could give the rules. He could. Yeah, he could. And let's just randomly let's, pop up and just tell us. We should ask him. Uh, just reach out to him and ask him about that. Yeah, maybe tweet him, <laughs> or him, or like yeah. Will Ferrell, or someone that's in a Christmas movie. Just ask them. We might as well ask Mariah Carey too, because she doesn't do movies, Christmas <laughs> movies, but she is the queen of Christmas. She is, is. She not she Christmas is. music at, at least. Yeah. I, I mean, listen. She would if, be the <laughs> authority. She is the authority on Christmas, I, I think. Although she would probably say, if it's not Disney, she doesn't want to know. <laughs> well, she's she got some of the Hallmark money now, too. So. She does. Oh, really? Yeah, she's, got a, she's in a Hallmark uh, movie or two, or just one, maybe. Um, At least one. Yeah. I caught the end of one. Yeah, yeah. We don't have to talk about yeah, that one, so. though. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to go there. <laughs> we, we don't, we don't. Um... But yeah, we will take a quick break, and then when we come back, we'll have our, our final segments and um, uh, my, and all that good stuff. Yeah. Sorry, I ran out of words, so we'll be right back. <laughs> words are hard. There, there, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the Endu Podcast. Hey guys, this is Arielle. And this is Deeds of Potluck Dinner Podcast. Check us out on Podbean at potluckdinner.podbean.com and iTunes. Search for us. All right, see you there. Bye. And welcome back. Welcome to back. 
<laughs> My goal is to do something weird after every break. <laughs> well, so far, so good. You're, you know, you're, 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 you're two for two. You're doing fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you a heads up now. We've got one more break, uh, so okay. get ready. Prepare. Be thinking about it. All right. But now it is time for our Black History fact. Black history. Black history. Black history. Black history. Facts. Actually, we have two Black History facts today. Uh, just two. One. The first one actually was sent to us by our, our beloved Courtney. So thank you very much. <gasps> What? <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm so honored. Okay, let's hear it. You all shocked? No. Do you, do you realize I, I do take the stuff that you give me and, and you know incorporate it back? I'm just uh, I'm just kidding. It's so easy. <laughs> I told you it's been a long day. Um, I know. I, I should be nicer <laughs> to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're all a little sassy today. I think. I know. It's a Monday. I tell you, Spicy. it's a Monday. It is. It is. All week and long. We'll, we'll be. We're going to have to send each other uh, little toy trains and everything. Mm-hmm. Just, oh. <laughs> and then we'll all be walking out the door. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to watch that movie tonight. Maybe. Probably should. Yeah. If it's, maybe it should be on TV. Um, probably. Theodore Michael. Theodore. Have you, I was going to say, if you've heard of Theodore Michael, and of course you have because you sent it to me. I but, did. Um, uh, Theodore Michael is a still living. Mm-hmm. A German, a black German, mm-hmm. who discussed uh, recently, I'm not sure if it's in a documentary, there's just a little clip that you had shared with me, and I tried to do a little further research on it. Couldn't find too much, but he is a, a black German who survived uh, Nazi Germany um, mm-hmm. and had to grow up living in a human zoo, basically. Oh, yeah. And having, yeah, because... Um, yeah, racism is international, so it's it's all yes, around. Yes, it is. Which sometimes makes me worry about, like, if there should be, well, let's, let's say that there are aliens out there, we actually start to mingle with each other. Will that racism persist? I think it will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, will it I don't still know. be called racism? Um, species, be like speciesism? I don't know. Yeah, speciesism. Well, that might help. But, um, uh, human beings bond together better if there was someone else, right? I would, I would hope so. I mean, I in Independence so. Day, it worked. But yeah, Independence Day. See, yeah. we should ask the that president from movie. Independence oh. Day. That yes, is, I mean, that is the Fourth of July. Don't we? <laughs> that is the Fourth right. of July movie. <laughs> I mean, it is. It is. I, I, the only one. <laughs> But maybe it could also be a Christmas movie because it's all about uniting together. We don't have Christmas trees, but it's about uniting together, finding the the ones we love and being with them, protecting them at all costs. I mean, sounds like Christmas to me. I'm not buying it. <laughs> Tough crowd, I tell you. See, and I was going to suggest the movie, which I, I don't even want to say it because it kind of spoils it a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh, Earmuffs, everyone. <laughs> yeah, Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm not even going to say it. Cause it's Aww. a movie that I, I really want because um, I'm waiting for Courtney to watch it or, and or read it. Um, what movie but, is that? Uh, Tell us at least what movie it is. Right. It's Watchmen. Oh. Watchmen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like really kind of far down on the list. I'll tell you that, though. Starling. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to find ways to bump it up the list. <laughs> I mean, I have, I have three episodes of Mr. Robot to catch up on. I mean, you do. You do. you're making me make hard choices. And and the and the sad thing is, I think I'm the one who keeps adding things to your list. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. I mean, he's the one who's being the stress inducer. And we, and I mean, I think already one of those movies that I've already mentioned in this episode, The Thin Man, is on that list. I think I yes, even gave is. you a copy of it. You probably so. did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yes, Theodore Michael, he is currently still living. He's still with us. He's 92 years old and uh, telling his story of how he survived um, living in Nazi Germany and how mm-hmm. racism still persists mm-hmm. and how he had to deal with it for all of his life. And yeah. It's, uh, it's rough. It's rough. Um, the second fact is another um, man who goes by the name of Maulana Karenga. Okay. I know there's yes, because nobody knows. Uh, but he was born uh, Ronald Everett 
and he is the one who created Kwanzaa. Oh, thank you. Nice. So Kwanzaa, yeah, thank you. Kwanzaa started in 1966, and uh, where is it here? Um, oops, had my little wrong paper here. And it has seven days. I'm just telling people those that don't know, in case they don't. Seven days of each Kwanzaa itself and everything that is it is about. Uh, it's all Swahili. Everything that's mm -hmm. Swahili. So I can't pronounce all those words, but I can tell you what they mean. The seven days or the seven principles of Kwanzaa are unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. So cool. each seven days, that is, that's what's celebrated starting on December 26th, so like right after Christmas, mm -hmm. and all the way to the new year. Families celebrating Kwanzaa decorate their households with objects of art, colorful African cloth, such as kente, um, especially the wearing of kaftans by women and fresh fruits that represent African idealism. It is customary to include children in Kwanzaa ceremonies and to give respect and gratitude to ancestors. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt was also recently uh, relearned and oh, but that's Mexican ancestry, but yeah, I like the whole dead thing. Honor nice. your yeah, uh, honor your honor your family, yeah, mm -hmm. and the ones that came before you. So uh, yeah, life served. So hooray! <laughs> uh, <laughs> generally, a common chalice passed around to all celebrants. Um, non African Americans also celebrate Kwanzaa, and the Traditional greeting is joyous Kwanzaa, if you're going to mm. say happy Kwanzaa. Okay. So not merry Kwanzaa. Or it's happy joyous. Kwanzaa. It's I always say happy Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Joyous Kwanzaa. Okay. Right. Yeah. Joyous Good Kwanzaa. to know. Yes. Um, let me see. Now, each day during Kwanzaa, uh, the greeting would be uh, Habarari Gani, which is Swahili for how are you. So can oh. you practice? So say that again. Habari. Habari. Ghani. Ghani. Habari Ghani. How are yes. you? So from okay. December 26th to January 1st, that is your greeting. If you want to greet people uh, who are celebrating Kwanzaa. Um, Habari Ghani. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. At first, observers of Kwanzaa avoided the mixing of the holidays or its symbols, values, and practice with, with other holidays, as doing so would violate the principle of self-determination and thus violate the integrity of the holiday, which is partially intended as a reclamation of important African values. However, today, many African-American families celebrate Kwanzaa along with Christmas and New Year's. Frequently, both Christmas trees and kanaras, which are the traditional candle holders that mm -hmm. you see with candles, mm -hmm. they share space mm -hmm. in Kwanzaa households. So for oh, people okay. who celebrate Kwanzaa is an opportunity to incorporate elements of their particular ethnic heritage into holiday observances and celebrations of Christmas. Cool. So, oh, I like that. So it's like extending. Right. That's it's awesome. an addition. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to choose one or the other or whatever. You can you can celebrate both or all. Mm -hmm. whatever's, exactly. Whatever's good for you. Yeah. And it's also... Um, spreading to other countries such as Canada, France, Jamaica, Brazil, and Great Britain. They are also celebrating Kwanzaa. Now, if you do want to learn more, there is a documentary called The Black Candle. Uh, I have not looked this up yet to see where it is available. He's but giving you more things narrated. to watch, Courtney. Uh, he, you see how this goes? <laughs> I mean, we talk about it, and then he just piles it onto my list. It's a, it's a growing <laughs> stockpile that never ends. Right. Sliding it under the radar. Narrated <laughs> by the late, the great Maya Angelou. So mm, there's, there's beautiful. Now, now I think I'm gonna have to move it, move it up the list since mm. she said that. <laughs> yeah, that she narrated Watchmen. That would move that up too. Uh, that's a lie. That right, a lie. I, I would, I would see straight through that one because obviously that's not true. It is. But there is a character in that movie that really could deserve like a little toy train. Uh, his name is the comedian. <laughs> and uh, okay. Got a really cold heart. But um, oh, and he's played by uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, better known as Negan. Not, oh, okay. I don't think I knew that. Yeah, now, you, now you know. That to might bump it up a little bit. <laughs> to give you something else to add to your list, have you guys seen Chewing Gum? 
on Netflix? Oh, of course. Okay. Of course. That kind of trumped a lot of things on the list. Yeah. <laughs> but That's yeah, a great I've show. Seen, I've seen both seasons. You know that I think number season two was the last season or she's only doing one more season. <gasps> really? Yes. Really? Yes. I think she's doing maybe one more. Is that Aww. right, Sterling? I think so. But she That's is also in... Um, uh, a Black Mirror upcoming episode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is airing like the 29th of December or 27th, oh. I believe. I yeah. saw that she was in an, in one. In she the was. Past. Yeah. yeah, she was in um, one, yes. the most recent Black Mirror uh, season. It, it mm-hmm. was episode one and she was a flight attendant. Yeah, I saw that clip and I was like, oh, now I want to watch Black Mirror, but I it's also kind of have a long list. Oh, it's depressing? I'm not into that. It's kind of <laughs> it's it's yeah you can't it that's something you can't really binge watch you have to kind okay. of take well with me I have to I have to take it in uh small doses yeah doses uh yeah okay. it's a great it's a great show it just it's a it bit makes, dark yeah it makes you kind of doubt the technology that you have surrounding you a little bit well I mean we should doubt the technology like all these stories about those Google Home and amazon thing listening to us like what did we think that it wasn't listening to us like (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. i mean my phone is literally ready for me to just say the the keywords to wake it up to say yes what do you want like but it's listening something uh, yeah something about that just doesn't sit well with me i don't need to listen in little device just shut up but you can turn off if you go in your settings of your phone into your app permissions you can turn off permission for facebook and instagram to listen to you and use your camera. And you, you will have to turn it on if you want to do a video, but mm-hmm. at least it won't be listening to what movies you're watching and then giving you ads on that movie because that's, so, that's yeah. really creepy. That's so creepy. Well, when when I noticed that Google was reading my emails. Oh, because, yeah, you know, and your text read, messages. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. A what? <laughs> what was that? And yes. your text messages. Yes, it is. Oh, and so is so Facebook. Creepy so creepy i don't mess with facebook but google is it's like my friend well i thought i mean Mm. it's gotta be training me now (laughs) god i already accepted google to be like the overlord um so it's skynet i think i think it's skynet um it is (laughs) and now that we're so if i if i turn up missing now that we're talking about it and google hangouts can hear us uh Folks, check on check on us, uh, all three of us. If you, if we you love you, Google. Up. No, no, I love Google. I will I never say anything Google. bad about Google. I actually do love Google. It is creepy that it reads, it knows everything about me, but um, yeah. and I know nothing about it. But I do actually love Google. I don't like Google that. reading my emails. It's Facebook. I don't. I don't know. I don't trust <laughs> what do you Facebook. Have against, what do you have against Facebook? Because I think like because I know that there's a guy that invented it. It makes me feel like, well, why are you reading my emails and why are you spying on me? But meanwhile, Google is just like Skynet. It's like this big thing. It's this big entity, this nebulous. Yeah, Yeah, Mm -hmm. it's it's faceless. It's a nebulous. You never really, you can't quite grasp it or touch it or see it. So I get get it. Okay, I get it. Yeah. This is how they take over, you know, know, right? Stranger Things 2. Yes, yes. Stranger Things 2. Have you seen that, Laura? No. What? <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> I um Why are, why did you come to this place this podcast? I don't I'm sorry. I I, I get scared. <laughs> yeah. I can't watch scary things cuz I get nightmares. No, I That's get my it. excuse. It is kind of scary. It is yeah. kind of scary. It Stranger is. Things part 1 or or season 1 I guess to me was scarier, but maybe it's just because I didn't know what to expect. Whereas I feel like Stranger Things season two was not nearly it was no it was it was scary but it to me it wasn't as bad I guess. Yeah. Um, but I think I was, you went in with a little more expectation, perhaps. Right, I I kind of knew what I was getting into this mm-hmm. time. I knew the characters, so I felt a little bit more comfortable. I felt like I was among friends and family. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And to me, it just wasn't as because it was the the second installment. It wasn't quite as. Um, I mean, I think I, I think the uh, the element of surprise was kind of tainted a little bit just because I had gone through season one already. But um, yeah, you got to get into it. Just watching the daytime, it's okay. okay. We'll we'll, we'll watch know. it with you. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> a recommendation. Like it's it is good 
television. It's just good TV, yeah. Yeah, it's just good TV. Okay. Good storytelling, great characters. Uh, you won't find any complaints from me. Even, even no. I'm one that doesn't even like scary stuff, and, and I still watch it. I don't even really think it's that. It is scary. It's creepy. It's creepy. Yeah, yeah. it's just creepy. And to me, that's just as bad as, you know, yeah. jump scares. I, like suspense, uh, that, that stuff I don't bothers like that. me. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff bothers me more than, like, the hardcore gore. and. Yeah, know. like, I can watch Saw. Most most of the time, I my can't watch my that. eyes will be covered, but <laughs> yeah, I can sure. watch it. You can get through it, yeah. But when it comes to these, like, you know, all those movies that come come out around Halloween that are just mm-hmm. like, I don't know, mm-hmm. Facebook is going to kill you, or you know, all these yeah. things, you know, yeah, it's just jump scare, jump scare. I can't watch yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, me neither. I'm not a fan. Mm. I'm a mm. huge weenie, actually. <laughs> yes, it's something we've, we've discussed many times, both of us. We yeah. We, why do those movies unless there's certain circumstances that we can control, such as daytime, <laughs> lighting, yeah, and the being button. with other people? Yeah, because the, people. the music is like the scariest part sometimes. Yeah. It is. Yes. Yeah. So when things get really creepy, I just hit the mute button. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. I can see that. Close caption. Tell me what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> right. That's a good so, trick. I'm gonna try that. That's that's how I get through like scary movies that maybe are on TV, or I'm just like braving myself up to watch mm-hmm. during the day, of course. And um, yeah, because I, I don't make those mistakes like I used to. I know <laughs> those amateur mistakes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Watching the middle of the night with no lights on, I'm like what? All what by yourself? Doing? Yeah, no, yeah. not happening. Setting myself up for disaster. Knowing I have to pee and I can't get to the bathroom, which is five feet away. Right. I know whatever <laughs> well, you have to go through that little patch of darkness, that little patch of shadow to get yeah. to the bathroom. And mm-hmm. then it's like, that's where the monster is. Yeah. Right. Who left that door open where <laughs> yeah. it's completely black uh-huh. and something is watching me? So can't do it. I'm not setting myself up for, dis- for disaster like that. <laughs> That almost happened recently again. I forgot what I was watching, but I had to go downstairs because I needed a snack and there's no lights there. And I like to walk in the dark anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, the Grammy got you to get me. So. <laughs> they should make an elf on the shelf horror movie. Surely that's already so a thing, scary. right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Aren't they already a little creepy? Yeah, they're they are super creepy. So creepy! Oh my god! And gosh. since when is this a thing? Like all of a sudden, everyone does it, and I'm like, no, I don't remember doing that. It's been a while for it's been around for a while. I never did it, but I, I think it's been a while around for quite a while. I, I, don't, I don't know. know. He did explain it to me a couple of years ago. I'm like, I still don't get it, and I think you just have to leave them in random places. You keep moving them, mm-hmm. and then, yeah, no, no, thank you. I'll pass. That's really creepy. <laughs> I don't, who has time for that? I don't have time for that. It's not about the time. It's how did this thing move? <laughs> like, <laughs> why is this doll alive? I don't know. I'm not into that. Oh, so that's yeah. basically Chucky. So you can see that's then. basically Chucky. Basically, yes. <laughs> yes. And I think Chucky it. came out with a new movie. Maybe. Probably. Probably, yeah. I don't know how many they're up to now, but. They're driving that into the ground. For yes, sure. they are. <laughs> I think, I think they're there. <laughs> yeah, it's in the ground. Yeah. It's just getting deeper, and they're just trying to hold on for dear life. Mm-hmm. Or de- uh, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> there was a thought. Somebody brought up something, and I wish I wrote it down because I wanted to revisit that, but it's already gone. Um, oh, uh, Michaela Cole. Mm-hmm. She is also uh, an... I'm not trying to push anyone to see Star Wars, but she is in Star Wars. She's in Star Wars? Is she really? I don't think I knew that. Oh, okay, I now I am definitely this. excited yeah. about it. Because I, I, I ended up <laughs> having to go to the IMDb page for something else, and I saw everybody was there. And I'm like, what? Aww. She's in this movie? Um, oh, wow. Just like surprised at like all the, the, the casting that's that's in this movie, and then and she's, she's in there. Wow. And then, and then she showed up in the movie. And I'm like, oh my god, she's there! So you like, actually saw her. There. So you you can confirm that I am IMDb is correct. I'll say I'll put it this way: you see her and you hear her, and you know it's Whoa. her speaking. Oh wow, that's awesome! So she has an accent and everything. Ooh, that's a good question. I don't remember, but she probably does because mm-hmm. I mean, in space. Everybody who has an accent uses it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because why? Why not? <laughs> right. 
the Star Wars. Except for John that. Boyega, I think he has an American accent. I think he does. He doesn't have a, a, his his native British accent. I don't believe. I've I never seen so. the movie, so uh, you know I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I going off question. of clips. Yes. What's question. your question? Go if I'm going to see this Star Wars movie, what <laughs> which ones do I have to have seen to understand it? Um. You know what? I feel like you could go in with this not having prior knowledge of previous Star Wars movies. I mean, you might be a little confused, mm-hmm. but um, if you were to start with any of them, I would say maybe The Force Awakens. Okay. So, is that one of the newer ones? I mean, if, I saw the yeah, first yeah, three, what... like the old ones. Yeah. And then I saw the very last one that came out. So like Rogue, Rogue One, you one. saw? Yes. Okay. And you okay? So you so you skip the Force Awakens in that yes. the first one? Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So I have so to yeah, see that. Watch, I have to see the Force Awakens. Yeah, watch watch that one, and then then you should be good. Okay. Now I am admittedly not a a diehard uh, Star Wars fan. I do like the movies. I like the story. Mm-hmm. So, like people throw references at me that I might vaguely grasp on, like oh Yoda, I know Yoda, but like mm-hmm. give me. Planet name, I'm lost. I don't know. Yeah, about it. yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm a fan, but I'm not a huge fan. Mm-hmm. I feel like if I were to choose one of the Star Wars or Star Trek, I'd probably lean towards more Star Trek than Star Wars. Mm-hmm. But I Woo! do love them both. So Trekkie for life. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in a Trekkie household, so I, I, it's not like like I don't have a choice, but like that's what I grew up on. So that's what I know. So I know, I know Trek. Mm-hmm. But I know wars as well, so I'm well versed in I can in the by. stars. <laughs> yes, well versed in the stars. Yes, I, I like that. Mm-hmm. I like it too. Yes. Well, that wraps up this segment. We will take one more break, and when we return, we'll come back to just a few more shenanigans, maybe one or two, one shenanigan mm-hmm. per person, and then that's it. But that's all that and nothing else when we come back on the interview podcast. The Endu Podcast. Hey there, friend. Enjoying this podcast production? I bet you're sweet, buttery face you are. I bet you're also thinking, how can I support this show and look awesome doing it? Aside from telling your best pal and all their kin, you can head over to Indube.com and two clicks later after hitting the store tab, you'll find yourself with several fun and fancy swag brought to you by the fine folks at the Indube Network and Tee Public. If you're a fan of Indube, Food Fight, or anything under the Indubian sun, you can find it plastered on mugs, hoodies, pillows, cases, bags, and of course, t-shirts. Hurry on over now and you may catch a sale with all tees 30% off. Seriously, they have sales like every other week. So head on over to Indube.com or tpublic.com. That's T-E-E-P-U-B-L-I-C dot C-O-M and type Indube in the search bar and continue to pod with the best. Oh, welcome back to the Indube podcast. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that's going to go on that supplemental uh, <laughs> episode that we sometimes do. Um, some gift ideas for friends that you love <laughs> and, and cherish. Give them poop. Moving on. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, do you have any shout outs or anything or like um, shout outs? Check out. Well, besides the happy birthdays going around, shout out to everyone who worked on Give a Little, um, the cast. Um, Christina Tanoko, Wheaton Simmons, Michael Hall, Matthew Kahn, Lenina Mortimer, and the wonderful crew, Rasheen Johnson and Philip Farragon, and also Mark for helping us out. Thanks, guys. Uh, Philip, mm, Y'all are awesome. Where, why does Philip seem so familiar? That's um, my husband. Oh, right, it's your husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would do it. Yeah. That would do it. Make sure you give him my love. I haven't seen him in forever. So we'll do. Tom, I said, hey. Uh, Courtney, what do you have? Well, you know, just uh, if you are so inclined, you can check me out over on the Twitters at uh, I am K Hinton. Uh, if you are a, um, an audacious 
creative entrepreneur and intention seeker. You can also check out vervehousecollective.com, which is the place for you. You can also catch Verve over on the Twitters at vervehc. Um, and both accounts, my personal account as well as the Verve account, tweets up a storm about various shenanigans and you don't want to miss it right, yes. right. we also should give a shout out to magdalena oh, yes yes, yes definitely. I should. <laughs> and her hey, wonderful magdalena. little minimal oven podcast yes yeah which i think she was supposed to make an ad for me so i can include it in here <laughs> <laughs> this will be the great the greatest uh, place for it actually yes it would be <laughs> um <laughs> Did you have any uh, ways to contact you or follow you, Laura? If you oh, my spiel? To... Um, my <laughs> spiel. Um, yeah, give us your spiel. Please, for creative tips and inspiration, <laughs> please visit my website, lauramioli.com. And I have a website called Louda Vision. It's for creative people. We talk about the creative process. We talk about following your dreams. Uh, all of those wonderful things. That's also on my website, lauramioli.com. And I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram at Lauda Vision. L O U Z A Vision. That's all I got. Nice. Follow her, folks. Follow her. As, and I, we always, I, everyone else always gives shout outs, and I rarely ever do. So I think I'll do it this time. And I just want to shout out all the guests that I had this year because it's been an amazing year. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yes. uh, to Perusa and Vilissa and um, Jamie. Jamie, Stephanie. Laura. Shannon. Even though she hasn't been on here yet. Shannon, yeah. Nick. Nick, yeah. Um, Donner. I think that's... Vixen. A Donner. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget that good old Rudolph. Good old Rudolph. <laughs> ah, and, Rudolph. <laughs> and Linda Claus. Jessica Mrs. is Claus. her name. <laughs> Mrs. You're Linda right. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> middle name. Linda's her middle name. Right. Jessica <laughs> Linda Claus. The third. <laughs> Also, Ariel, Roberto, Abby, Aunt Cindy, and Bill. Thank you. Special appearances by Chief. Every once in a while, you might hear him jingling or whimpering. Totally. Or He's like basically a co co host. He's a mascot. Yeah. He's the mascot. Oh, mascot. Yeah. You yes. do network. Yes. He is. Mm -hmm. he is. Um, and oh, yes, and my parental units, uh, Donald and Sherby Watson. So they, I don't know if they've been on this year, but you can definitely hear them later. So. Sweet. Um, so yeah, that does it for another episode of the Indube, of this Indube episode. Follow me on all things Indube and go to the Indube.com to find Patreon, which is back in good graces. So they've listened to the people. Yes, they, that's good news. Yes. So become a Patreon because if you're, if now, if, if ever is the time to do it now is that time. So go for it. Yes. And also, I just want to note some of the stuff that if you are a patron, what it does to help me is uh, this podcast does cost money to host. Um, and there are some other things I like to get. I want to get a mixer so I can do more live events and have microphones set up around a table and uh, do stuff like that. I'll be getting into video stuff next year, um, starting new podcasts next year. So I need more. And of course, that costs more money. So all that goes into helping uh, for you guys to be entertained. I'm hopefully, hopefully you guys are being entertained. Of course. If not. No. I'm pretty entertained. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm entertained doing this. So it's a lot of fun for me. So, uh, but still, if even just sharing this podcast, that is very helpful to me too. So thank you so much for those people that share or retweet or tell their friends because that's how this grows. And I, I do from the basements of my heart. I thank you. <laughs> And happy holidays. And, happy and, ha and joyous Kwanzaa. Joyous Kwanzaa. And happy Hanukkah. <laughs> you guys are closing out before I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, you can get in. <laughs> trying to, uh, in dube.com, you can also go to the T Public store. There will be some more designs coming soon uh, to uh, the t shirts, mugs, hoodies, and more. Uh, please rate comment and share the pod on apple podcast stitcher google play and podbean still waiting to hear from spotify we might be on there mm -hmm. soon mm -hmm. Ooh, fun. so thank you so much for supporting listening stopping by and pressing play tell someone you value that you value them especially now at this this season um live for the folks that that you love i've been your benevolent host t strong benevolent. <laughs> benevolent. 
Laura, you're gonna get kicked out. <laughs> I'm trying to think. You can't fire me. I quit. Miss, <laughs> <laughs> can't quit on me. Can't fire right, me the day before Christmas. Um, what about my children? <laughs> you ain't getting paid for this. <laughs> Tiny Tim and little Julia and everybody. So, <laughs> ain't mm. no money over here. <laughs> uh, and if the world didn't suck, we'd all fall off. No. <laughs> That's great. <laughs>
Yay, <laughs> thank you for being here, Laura. Thank you guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. As always. Thank you.